right across the same Caribbean waters mariners have sailed for centuries. The Eagle, the majestic tall ship of the United States Coast Guard. Whenever you're ready. Thank you. The smallest branch of the U.S. military, yet a powerful force with a humanitarian mission. Coast Guard, you know, it's a, it's a different kind of service. Uh, basically, they, they train to save people as opposed to killing people. That training for every officer begins here aboard the Eagle, a tall ship which brings the past to life. Our journey begins as we join tall ships from around the world setting sail from San Juan, Puerto Rico. The surreal calm quickly dissolves. On the Royal, are you manned and ready? Four manned and ready! He! He! For the next nine days, cadets put academy schooling to the test, literally learning the ropes, more than 200 of them. Individually, the cadets are 18 to 21 year olds from all over the country, from all different backgrounds. Seaman Matt Baker, Dallas, an expert in maneuvering up the Ratlins to secure sails. Cadet Amanda Osfeld, New York, a young woman focused on leading her crew. Cadet Eric Wilson, Atlanta, his long-term goal, aviation. Together, they are a professional entity navigating a 295-foot vessel across the sea. How? Good old-fashioned manpower, rigging the lines, hoisting the sails, harnessing the power of the wind. It's really fulfilling. Look at, just look at the sails. I mean, and just going on sail power alone is, you know, it's great. It's just great. With Mother Nature now firmly in control, cadets and crew can breathe easy, relax, eat. Thanks. It is an around-the-clock effort to prepare fresh foods for this young, hard-working crew. The meals worth waiting in line for. We're actually the center of the morale on board the ship. The one thing they look forward to is a good meal three times a day. I'm happy with the food on board. Most people don't seem to get enough, but I don't know. I think it's a lot better than the, at the academy. What has been learned at the academy is built upon while at sea. During the day, schoolwork. We're out here 24-7 because our job never ends. The moon's going to pop out again. Yeah, I'm here. Ready? Ready. At night, lessons in basic navigation, scanning the heavens to master celestial navigation. This ship brings out the best in these kids. It, it allows them to expand their horizons, build self-confidence, overcome their fears, do things that they never thought they'd do. Leading this ship is exactly what Captain Ivan Luke has always wanted to do. An academy graduate himself, Luke is a hands-on, lead-by-example captain. His philosophy? Give cadets the knowledge they need, then encourage them to perform beyond their own limits. I'm awful proud of them. The, these folks are the greatest people I have ever sailed with, uh, one and all. On the main! On the mizzen! Rise, tax and sheet! <laughs> and they're just a spectacular example of uh, the youth of America and the future of our country. And while Captain Luke trains cadets aboard the Eagle, more advanced Coast Guard maneuvers take place on the cutter, the Harriet Lane. A tremendous amount of our time is spent down in the Caribbean doing counter-narcotics enforcement uh, and migrant interdiction operations. Harriet Lane is traveling so closely alongside the Eagle, cadets on a close personal look at some of the training that goes on aboard this ship. For a few brief moments, I step into a military role. This 50 caliber machine gun is powerful, more than enough to enable the Coast Guard to, for instance, stop a drug boat. Torques are even. Power is good. You clear to slide left. Next stop while on board the Harriet Lane, the helo pad. Pilots trained in search and rescue man this chopper. Our mission is purely aesthetic, but at any time, the pilots and ground crew are ready to spring into action. Servo rudders left, 15 degrees. Now in our fifth day, cadets and crew are in the groove. Daily training includes drills to disembark. On the four and a half balls, ball weight together. A lot of times in uh, emergency situations where you're fighting fire, uh, you'll find it's hard to breathe. Safety procedures for damage control and or fire. I helped out as cadets prepared new sails to be hauled up to the yards. But off duty, cadets find private moments. And that's tricky when you share a sleeping area with up to 12 others. 
close quarters with no amenities. It's no different for the women. You have to learn how to um, respect other people's space because there's not very much of it at all. Limited space, limited H2O as well. The Eagle desalinates the seawater for use on board, and that means sea showers for everyone. It's a minute of shower, that's it, you know. Just got to conserve water or else we'll be drinking seawater the rest of the time, and that's not good. It is week's end. The trip has been 90% hard work. The captain now decides Hi, it's time for fun. We're burning daylight, son. We're burning daylight. I hear you, Captain. I hear you. We'll There's this. liberty to be had. We'll get this on. Welcome to Conception Island, a deserted stretch of beach in the Bahamas. For everyone aboard the Eagle and the Harriet Lane, this is paradise. Eight hours of sun in the surf, camaraderie, a chance to let loose. <laughs> But on the horizon, reality is about to roll in. On the moon, missile Keep straight line. Keep straight line. Captain and crew act quickly. They maneuver the eagle out of harm's way. Relentless training has paid off. It's just it's a blast being in the rigging. You know, you got 50 knot winds and the sails whipping around. There's nothing like it in the, in the world. No comparison to other life experiences. That is perhaps what the Coast Guard gives to those who dedicate themselves to this organization. Going through the Academy has definitely been three of the hardest years of my life, but it's also been three of the most exciting. Priceless. Priceless and very treasured to me. I love this ship. We're so small, but we work really, really hard, and um, I'm proud to call myself a Coast Guardsman. Some of us appreciate it, you know, some of us take it for granted, but Either way it goes, bottom line, it comes out to be an experience as to our whole learning thing. And it's, it's part of the academy, it's part of us, it's part of who we are. After nine days at sea, back on dry land, Julia Yarbo, NBC6.